Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. I, uh, I'm uh, shortly going to be 72 years old. I've been doing this since oh, the uh, mid-60s and so on, and I quit a regular job to do this full-time in, in uh, 1971. Here I have a pair of birch bark shoes. Now in Sweden, these would be called, or Norway, or Finland, these would be called six mile shoes because they're expected to last six Swedish miles and I think a Swedish mile is six of ours so go for a walk in these shoes and they better last around 36, <laughs> 40 miles of walking. Now the story behind these shoes is uh, uh, I think they were made for me because I, I uh, uh, ran across a picture of birch bark shoes and I was curious about their construction and I showed this to somebody who I thought might know something about it. He was Finnish. He's born in Finland. He was living in, in Alberta and he said he didn't know that much about these type of shoes but his mother should who lived uh, on his property, retired, elderly mother. He came back laughing and he said, you know what she said to me? She said, you surely should remember because you wore them when you were a child. Uh, perhaps you can start with this uh, 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 baby sizes and so on, but these are what are made usually for the tourist trade, I guess. And essentially these are baskets that are woven to look like um, shoes. And they're made out of a reasonably durable material, uh, which is birch bark. And the uh, description of the, the construction was very hard to get at first, but now there are a number of sources where if you follow them you could teach yourself how to weave these shoes. Now the man who wove these shoes for me was the brother to the fellow who was living in Alberta. And the brother stayed on in Finland, he was a logger, he was uh, old enough to decide for himself whether he wanted to immigrate to Canada or not. And as a logger he endured an accident and became a paraplegic and that caused him to become one of the more foremost uh, crafters in the old tradition uh, in Finland where not being able to walk anymore he had to make a living and one of the things that he was a master of was making these shoes.